hi everyone welcome to the channel of vision so here we have a video is all about hardware and software for web servers so here before going to hardware and software for web servers we require to know about the types of servers because depends upon the type of websites that we are using based upon that we will be having few configurations that is hardware and surface that is required for web servers right so now first so what we have the different types of websites so here you can see here have listed we need a development sites intranets extranets transaction processing sites and even we have content delivery sites and then what is this actually it's a very simple actually a website planning is first step that determine site goals and also it estimates visitors and types of files that we need to enter in a website and assess existing information everything that we required right then based upon all these things we will be having few types of websites okay so first one development what is that development site so development site is nothing but evaluate web designs then extranets that is house internal information then extranets so that means it allows outside party access then transaction processing sites that means it's all about commerce sites okay so what we have flipkart amazon so all these will fall under transaction processing sites okay then we have a content delivery sites it's nothing but what is the delivering of news stories uh, summaries digital uh, digital accounts or contents what will be having so all those sites will come under content delivery sites okay so these are the various different types of websites that we have so based upon this will be having hardware right, and we will be having two that we required for web servers one is web client okay. so we want web uh, servers deal with that it's okay so web client and web servers for both we required architecture okay client or server ar architecture is very very important that is the first point so next we required client computer okay what is this client computer so for example users okay the person who are using these websites for that we required web browsers right without web browsers definitely we can't enter into a internet only okay so for that we required web browsers so we have a google chrome internet explorer mozilla firefox opera mini so like this we will be having many web browsers so through this what is that it is able to i mean we can enter into a what is that internet so that the reason client computer software is very very important okay so next we have server computer more memory and larger faster disk drives and platform neutral web surface okay before that when come to server computers it's very important so what we have a pc same like that even we must have okay but that should contain more space more storage more memory it must be very big one larger larger one because this web servers will connect throughout the world right so it must have space to store all the data that we can save in our websites right and even it must be very fast in drives i mean to find out the information so where we have saved so there it must search very very quickly very fast right so the other reason server computers are very very important here then we have platform neutral web surface what is that uh, we have various computer communicate uh, communications to make that very easily effectively and when we have a critical ingredient and for rapid spread okay so we required this neutral web software okay it helps to convey or to transfer information very easily flexibly or effectively okay so for that it's compulsory we required on platform neutral web software okay so these are the various ingredients that we required when you are using this web clients and web servers in what is that web servers that is hardware and software that we are using under websites okay so in come to websites two people are very important one is web servers i mean who are providing information and web client that mean we 
I mean we people okay who are using this internet or websites okay both are important so next uh, we have about softwares uh, before going to a software even software all depends upon the type of websites that we are using that's what actually we were saying right so the other reason actually we have different types of websites so same like that what type of content you are using in a website even that is very important okay whether we are using dynamic websites whether we are using static pages or static courses dynamic page delivery dynamic contents okay so for example so while we using this e-commerce applications called flipkart amazon so there sometimes we uh, mail or we message few inquiries correct and we order few products correct when we have a uh, different different customers at a time many people will be what is that logging in and they'll be ordering different different products correct so when we have like these many options on many transactions while they are doing through websites so at the time we should require a strong website okay so even based upon that we require a very very strong surface and hardware right so here we have a few surface those are very very important for uh, this web servers okay so the first one we have operating system so always when we use us for example even when we have a laptop or desktop at our home or with us so without having operating system it is impossible to use your system right for example even your mobile have android and few have microsoft few have mac os correct so without having this microsoft windows definitely you can't use your systems also correct so same like this even for web servers will be having few operating system okay so that's what we are saying operating system for web servers are very very important okay so why we require this it's very simple it runs programs it allocate computer resources and it provides input and output services and it is a very very large system it tracks multiple users ensuring no interface or interference okay so that the reason operating system is very very important and we have a microsoft windows server products okay even from that's what we are saying when come to operating system we have many types of operating system okay from mac from android from microsoft okay so here i have a list okay so one we have a microsoft windows from microsoft company then we have a linux and unix okay so linux and unix are very very popular because it gives more security when compared to other os okay that the reason most of the people will use linux and unix based products then even we have linux open source operating system what it means it's very simple actually it is very fast efficient and installs very easily open source software still we have more what is that so it's nothing but it develops by community of programs and software available for download that is free of cost other can use it improve it and submit improved versions also okay so this is the benefits that we have when we are dealing with open source softwares next we'll be having a web server softwares web server softwares even now what we have studied before this so this is the main os okay so for example when we have a system so i was saying microsoft windows so what we are using window uh, what is that microsoft uh, windows 7 then we have used 8.1 now we are using windows 10 point and even in mobile we are using android so that is the main important software we required so that's how actually we have i mean i have explained in the left side what we have all those things are operating system then this side will be having applications so now for for example when you're using a mobile so we have main android system so under that again we will be having different different application surface for example uh, some people will use to edit photos edit photos pix arts and some people will be using different different applications for messages right whatsapp and for social media what is that uh, facebook twitter instagram so like that for each and every activity what we'll do based upon that we record a few few different different applications same like that even here we record a few application surface okay that's in right side okay even that controls different different work what we will do in a web server based upon that we have okay so here i have listed a few things what is that we have a uh net scarf networking consulting 
okay even this is very important but uh, first we'll start okay so web server software that is commonly used web server programs here here i've listed one is apache http server we have then microsoft internet information server we have then sun java system we have okay these are the very very famous web server software that normally we are using right now okay so other than these things we have netcraft networking consulting okay it measures web server software's relative popularity then it stabilizes in recent years web server performance differences depends upon workload depend upon operating system depend upon web pages served okay so we'll be using all these application software then we have apache http server okay so it has developed by rob mccool in the year of 1994 okay so original core system with lots of patches so it contain have more patches okay even for this we call it as a patchy server ongoing group software develop efforts dominated web since almost from 1996 okay it is a free performance efficiently we have a few free performs efficiently we have a few things okay what is that one ibm web spare application server packages and we have a zeus based on apache open source code and we have most widely installed web server software packages and even it runs on many operating systems hardware okay so http is also i mean come to apache http server it is very very famous most of people are using this apache http server that's why i have shown in a first point itself okay it's a very very famous web server software so next uh, here we have few web server hardwares so hosting electronic commerce operations that is a very important okay so we required uh, what is that few operations will be there to conduct it uses very wide variety of computers we require a brand type sizes this small some small companies run websites on desktop pcs then most websites operated on computers designed for hosting then we require server computers so how we have pc same like the one for that we required we required uh, what is that uh, computer hardware like we required ram rom hard disk and few graphic cards so same like that even for the server we require server computers okay it is very very expensive when compared to workstation pcs and uh, it should maintain visitors it may it should maintain housing web server computers okay you one will be having a blade servers we have web server hardware architecture we have server farms then centralized architecture and distributed architecture these are very very important okay if you want to maintain centralized architecture it's very important we should have very huge and large computers it requires very expensive computers more sensitive to technical problems and requires adequate backup plans okay so very difficult to maintain this centralized architecture but if we have it gives very better service then distributed or de decentralized architecture even this is a large number of less powerful computers we require but it spreads risk over large number of servers it is very less expensive but it risk it requires additional hubs and switches because we need to connect each and every server individually right so that the reason we require additional hubs and switches when you are using decentralized architectures okay we have few small small what is that components we call as a hardware so that we record here okay then even we have load balancing system that is a very very important always so without having a load balancing system it is very difficult to maintain websites because when people at a time they will visit websites so it will become very traffic right so to clear that to balance that load okay we record a separate hardware component called load balancing system what happens it helps to create extra routes to send information in various routes various ways okay it creates different different routes and different different ways to send information very easily that should available to the people who are using our webs okay so here these are our various web servers hardware that we use in a web servers so i hope you guys enjoyed a lot by using this one and also got knowledge about hardware and software when come to web servers and please don't forget web sites are very important based upon that we'll be having various configurations of hardware and software to make web servers very strong
okay so this is about the video about web server hardware and software for mainly for web servers right so thank you for watching keep watching our channel our vision thank you